Welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Kim Taksalava. Through this video, I am discussing about an important part of your advanced level industrial chemistry syllabus that is production of sodium carbonate. For your syllabus, we have to talk about the Solvay process. Sodium carbonate is a raw material required for a number of chemical industries and presently about 20 million metric tons of sodium carbonate are annually produced in the world. Then let's see some of the uses of sodium carbonate. It is used to remove hardness of water and also it is used to improve cleaning action of soap and detergents. Moreover, this is using as washing soda. We can mix sodium carbonate to the wood pulp in paper industry also. As well as sodium carbonate is used in production of glasses. The main chemical reactions involved in the production of sodium carbonate are given in this slide. According to this, there are three raw materials needed for this production. They are ammonia, sodium chloride and limestone. Ammonia essential for the production of sodium carbonate is obtained by the Haber process. And by our next video, I will discuss about Haber-Bosch process. Carbon dioxide is produced by the thermal decomposition of limestone. The other main raw material is purified concentrated sodium chloride solution by removing calcium 2 plus, magnesium 2 plus and sulfate ions. This is referred as brine solution. Basically, there are four major steps in the Solvay process. First step is ammonification. For this step, a tower called ammonification tower is used. Through this diagram, you can get a simple idea about ammonification tower. First, brine solution is introduced from the top of the tower and ammonia gas is from the bottom of the tower. Here you may notice that reactants are mixing by sending them in opposite directions. This is referred to as the counter current principle. Ammonification of sodium chloride is an exothermic process. Hence, the temperature of brine increases and this will decrease the efficiency of dissolving ammonia. So, it is important to maintain a low temperature in the tower by removing the heat in the tower through heat exchange. Finally, we can get brine solution saturated with ammonia. Second step is the carbonation of brine solution resulted from the first step. Here we can use carbonation tower and then the brine solution saturated with ammonia is introduced from the top of this tower while carbon dioxide from the bottom of the tower. In this step also, reactants are efficiently mixed under counter current method. Ammonified brine is a basic medium and carbon dioxide is an acidic gas. Thus, dissolving it in water is exothermic. Hence, formation of ammonium carbonate by reacting aqueous carbon dioxide with ammonium hydroxide is also exothermic. Then, as same as the ammonification tower, carbonation tower also must be keep in cool throughout the process. Generally, ammonia is readily soluble in water, but the solubility of carbon dioxide gas in water is relatively low. The concentration of bicarbonate ions formed by the dissolution of carbon dioxide in water is also very low. As ammonification proceeds, carbonation, 
carbon dioxide gas is absorbed well into the basic aqueous solution of ammonia. This produces high concentration of bicarbonate ions. In this step, sodium bicarbonate is separated. As ammonification brine solution is carbonated, the concentration of ammonium bicarbonate in the solution is increased. Since this brine has a high concentration of sodium plus ions, sodium bicarbonate crystallizes and separates out from the solution when the concentrations of sodium plus and bicarbonate ions exceed the saturation limit of sodium bicarbonate. The overall reaction can be stated as this. Then the formed solid sodium bicarbonate is removed from the solution. The overall reaction forming sodium bicarbonate can be written as this equation. Fourth and the final step of the Solvay process is obtaining sodium carbonate. Anhydrous sodium carbonate is obtained by heating sodium bicarbonate which is separated in the previous step. Here carbon dioxide is formed and this gas is sent back to the carbonation tower. Ammonium chloride which is a byproduct of this process is used to regenerate ammonia gas as this equation. To get ammonia gas, ammonium chloride solution is reacted with calcium oxide obtained by decomposition of limestone. Then the formed ammonia gas is passed to the ammonifying tower. Accordingly, the overall theoretical reaction for the entire process as follows. However, keep in your mind that just by mixing solid calcium carbonate and anhydrous sodium chloride, we cannot prepare sodium carbonate. The final byproduct of this process is calcium chloride and this also can be used for other industries. Due to some reasons, Solvay process is economically profitable. I have already told you, as raw materials, we want sodium chloride and calcium carbonate. Both these raw materials can be obtained easily and they are low cost materials. And also, the other raw material, ammonia gas, is not consumed and it can be used again and again by recycling. And also, a part of carbon dioxide can be reused. Simply, you can remember the Solvay process using a flow chart. As raw materials, we can use brine solution and ammonia gas. And in ammonification tower, we will get brine solution saturated with ammonia. And then, it is introduced into a carbonation tower. In carbonation tower, we have to treat it brine solution saturated with ammonia with carbon dioxide. To prepare carbon dioxide, we are heating calcium carbonate and as a byproduct of this, we will get calcium oxide solid. And in the carbonation tower, we will get ammonium bicarbonate and sodium chloride. Reacting ammonium bicarbonate and sodium chloride produce ammonium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. By filtration process, we can separate sodium bicarbonate solid and ammonium chloride aqueous. Then, we can heat sodium bicarbonate and get sodium carbonate solid. And as a byproduct of heating sodium bicarbonate, it will produce carbon dioxide. And we can use carbon dioxide for the carbonation tower. And also, we can treat calcium oxide and ammonium chloride and get 
ammonia gas and then we can use ammonia gas in the ammonification tower. This is the end of the solvay process and thank you for watching us. If you are interested in our videos, please subscribe on us.